What's going on everybody? My name is Jason and today I wanted to quickly just talk to you about some of the stuff that's been going on since I posted my last video. You know, in a lot of ways this has been a really crazy year and that is especially true uh, because we're in a pandemic, but also, you know, I just graduated college and I, even though I did that remotely, it's still kind of a crazy feeling because I don't quite know what I want to do next. And that's kind of terrifying, but it's also exciting. And I think that's kind of the boat a lot of people are in right now, not really knowing where things are going or the direction they want to take things, which is kind of crazy because, you know, we've, we've been in this thing so long, it feels like the new normal. Uh, but just let me back up for a minute. Touching on the last four years, you know, it, went by so fast, but it didn't at the same time. And that's what's crazy about it is it f things feel like they're kind of forever when you're in it. But, you know, my mom says this all the time. They Things feel like they're, you know, forever or they're never going to end when you're going through something that's kind of a pain. Kind of relating it back to graduating college, there were times during my college career, I, I really never thought I would actually graduate or, or see the day that it would actually happen. And to me, even though like things are still obviously difficult right now, I think that shows uh, at least some symbol of hope that things eventually will kind of get better at some point. Obviously, I don't know when, but I think, you know, that kind of shows that uh, it will happen at some point. So anyway, so more on the topic of uh, graduating college. I also think throughout these last four years, I've I've grown a ton. And what I mean is that, you know, in a lot of ways, I'm not the same person that I was four years ago. You know, the way I kind of look at things is, is different as well. You know, I, I think of things a little bit, you know, more of like with an open mind instead of, you know, very narrow minded. And I try and approach things that way. I try and approach things that way. And I remember when I was first entering college uh, and going through that journey of applying to school and, and doing all that, everything was was, uh, was very, it can only be this way or it can only be that way. And that's something I, I am still trying to not uh, live my life by and uh, do it that way. But I, I've become more like, there's kind of like a, a gray or there's a compromise area. Not everything is black and white, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Another thing I, I kind of learned and, and something I'm trying to work on is uh, in school, uh, specifically in college, I was always like kind of the, uh, the shy kid. Uh, you're probably seeing a little bit of that now. You know, that's okay. And, and one of the things I think is important uh, about that is the self-awareness that I, I kind of developed. I guess what it, I guess all I'm trying to say when it comes to all of this uh, college whatnot is that I am kind of excited to move on to other things, but uh, in some ways I am sad it's over because that security net of, oh, I can always have another semester is gone, and that part is a little bit scary. I wanted to make this uh, segment to kind of talk about my goals for uh, the Jason Pine YouTube channel for 2021 and kind of going forward. So my goal is to make higher quality uh, YouTube videos, to kind of hear what all of you have to say. My goal ultimately is to make higher quality content um, as a whole and kind of expand uh, the videos that I'm making, make more of them. Another goal of mine uh, going into 2021 is I kind of want to drop the act, um, if you will. Oh, uh, ignore that Jason 2020 sign. I kind of want to drop the, the act, if you will. And kind of what I mean by that is uh, I, uh, you know, feel like I've been trying to put on a performance for some of my previous YouTube uh, videos, meaning like they're too scripted and they're too kind of, uh, yeah, they're too scripted basically. So they're, you know, I'm saying everything very word for word and not uh, too scripted essentially. So... So yeah, I really want to be more authentic with you guys and grow my connection with you uh, going into 2021 and uh, beyond. 
So one thing I do uh, that is not healthy uh, is I put a lot of pressure on myself uh, to, uh, you know, to deliver, to uh, work hard, to do all these great things. But in reality, uh, I'm, I'm not saying you shouldn't work hard or I shouldn't work hard. But putting an unrealistic expectation on myself uh, definitely has taken its toll on me this year. I'm not, I'm not saying I shouldn't work hard or you shouldn't work hard, but what I am saying is that I've put an unrealistic expectation on myself for this year, um, and maybe in previous years too, I'm not too sure, but what my goal is for that, uh, and, and what I'd like to do is, is try and be a bit more realistic and kind of grounded with uh, kind of my work ethic because I do have a very strong work ethic because what I'd like to do going forward is uh, actually try and you know not put this unrealistic pressure on myself because it, after a while it does take its toll on you and I think bringing that expectation level down on myself uh, would be a healthy thing for me to do because as I was talking about earlier, I did just graduate college, and I did it remotely, so I don't think it's, I also don't think it's fair to say that I, you know, I did nothing this year, because uh, that's not realistic either. But having that groundedness in terms of my goals is something I want to work on. Wow, I did it. I made it through the filming the whole video. Uh, so anyway, if you like this video, uh, be sure to give it a like. Um, and please subscribe to uh, my channel. That would uh, really help me out. And uh, be sure to turn on the notification bell. And uh, thank you so much for uh, watching. And I will talk to you all later. All right, bye-bye.